Understanding Sanctions List, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a very interesting and relevant phrase in the English language. Sanctions List. This topic is not just about language learning, but also about understanding global events and international relations. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how it's used in real-world contexts. Before we understand what a sanctions list is, we need to know what sanctions are. Sanctions are penalties or restrictive measures imposed by one country or a group of countries on another nation. These are often used to achieve certain political or economic goals. Sanctions can include trade barriers, restricting or banning trade with the targeted country, financial restrictions, freezing assets or limiting access to international financial systems, travel bans, preventing officials from traveling to or from the imposing countries. A sanctions list is a specific compilation of individuals, organizations, or countries that are subjected to sanctions. These lists are maintained and updated regularly by governments or international bodies like the United Nations. Being on a sanctions list can mean restricted access to international markets, inability to use international banking systems, prohibitions against doing business with citizens or companies from the countries that impose the sanctions. Let's look at some real-world examples to understand this better. 1. Country-Based Sanctions List For instance, a country might be on a sanctions list due to its policies or actions that are deemed unacceptable by the international community. 2. Individual-based sanctions list. Individuals, such as political leaders or businessmen, might be listed due to involvement in activities like terrorism, human rights violations, or corruption. Being on a sanctions list has significant consequences economic impact. It can severely affect the economy of the sanctioned country or individual. Diplomatic relations. It often leads to strained relations between countries. Legal implications. Listed entities might face legal challenges both domestically and internationally. I hope this video has helped you understand what a sanctions list is and why it's an important concept in today's globalized world. Remember, language learning is not just about words and phrases, it's also about understanding the context in which they are used. Thanks for watching, and keep learning!